Hi everyone, today we're going to do a bit of an experiment. Uh, a few months back, maybe a year ago now, we tried an experiment where we took a guitar recording and we reamped it in different rooms in the studio just to see how much difference that would make with a close mic'd guitar cabinet as to whether that would make much difference in the mix. Everybody knows that if you put a microphone quite far back in a room, the room sound will really affect that recording, but what we wanted to show was how much or how little it was affected when you were quite close up. Today, we're going to do the same with vocals. So, uh, we're going to use our theme tune today just because I'm really ru kind of rushing around and I need something that's not copyrighted by somebody else. I'm going to make up some words to sing over the top of it. It's going to be complete and utter nonsense and will not be kind of, if I ever decide to put vocals on the song, this will not be it. But it's something. So what we're going to do is we're using the Aston Origin microphone which is quite a great mic, and I'm going to do a separate video talking about that in depth. Uh, we're going to use an Audient ID22, and we're going to use an iPad to do the recording because the iPad doesn't make any noise, which means that we can use it in each room and not have to have kind of a in the background from any kind of laptop or anything. So we'll get silent portable recording, which is great. Actually live. We're going to use two different bathrooms. Uh, because they have their own different sonic signatures and we're going to use the meeting room which has quite high ceilings and a wonderful reverb to the room and we're going to listen to these all isolated and we're going to listen to them then uh, in the context of the mix uh, in the context of the mix they're going to be quite heavily compressed as well uh, because that's what i would do with a vocal in the mix which means that any differences there should jump out at as much more um, I'm not necessarily doing the compression to prove the point. I'm doing the compression because that's what I would do with a vocal in a mix. And so that's going to bring that reverb, if there is any, out from the room much more. So we'll see how much difference that makes to making a mix better or worse. Now let's talk technical for a second. I mean, this is all great talking about... Uh, you know, volumes and uh, compression and that kind of stuff. But let's talk about the gear we're using to do this. So the microphone is an Aston Origin, which so far I've been incredibly happy with. Uh, I've got the 10 dB pad on the microphone because when I was blasting some of the notes, I was finding that the microphone couldn't handle it. Uh, the preamp interface that I'm using is an Audient ID22. Now, so far this thing's been absolutely fantastic. It's been extremely clean. The headphone amps I can push all day long and they don't seem to distort, which is great. And that's going into an iPad Pro running Aurea Pro. So it's got a an Apple USB 3 lightning adapter, which means I can keep the iPad plugged into the mains at the same time as connecting a USB device, in this case, the interface. The reason I'm using the iPad, firstly, it's cool. And secondly, it's silent in operation, which means that if we're working in a small room, I can have that whole setup in that same room with me. And I don't end up with fan noise and whirring noises. And, you know, if you're working with something like a MacBook and the fan kicks on, suddenly that take's not usable anymore because all you can hear on the microphone is in the background. So rather than have to go through a complicated system of having the recording set up in another room and running the cables under a door or something like that. If I run a silent setup, much easier to do portable recording. You can, you don't have to use an iPad for this. You can just use a laptop. You could do something like this with, there are a lot of field recorders that you can do this now where you could have, like say if you render the rest of your track, say as a backing track, which is what I've done here because it made life a little easier. I've just got a stereo backing track, which I've pre-recorded, pre-mixed in the studio. And then I've got that on one track and then I'm just overlaying here. So you could do that a number of ways. 
this isn't the only way to do this, but this is quite a convenient little setup if I wanted to do some vocal recording that's, you know, quote-unquote professional quality, but anywhere in the world, literally in any room as long as the acoustics are up to it, then this is pretty much the setup I'd use. I mean, I have done videos like this before using the Audient ID4, which is much smaller and can run off a 5 volt battery bank, but it seems that the jumping quality with the ID22 is fairly noticeable. The ID4 is great. This seems to be up there. This is kind of like Apogee Links kind of level, which is seriously impressing me, but there's going to be a separate review video on the ID22, so let's not get too hung up on it. Anyway, back to me. Without further ado, here we go. So this is our office. This is quite possibly the most reverberant room in the building. And this has quite high ceilings, it's quite large, it's got quite a lot of reflective surfaces. And if I was to clap away from the microphone, you should be able to hear quite a lot of kind of a long tail on that echo, which I always thought would be quite nice to record drums in here. I've never actually had a chance, but it's something I might do in the future. Um, question for me with vocals is how much is it going to negatively affect things if I then want to, let's say, heavily compress and try and fit a song into the mix. So that's what we're going to try now. And let's see what we get. Hey! Where will you come from? Hey! Where are you headed now? Wait! So this is bathroom number one. This is all tiled. Uh, there's a, a big kind of gap in the ceiling, so it's got quite a tall ceiling relatively. And it's kind of the second most reverberant room in the building and I suppose because it's much smaller than the main office it's going to stand out much more as a, an echo reverb kind of thing so let's see how that sounds on its own and in a mix hey! So this is bathroom number two, and as you can see I'm in a much smaller cubicle. I suppose this is going to try and dispel the myth, or confirm, as to whether uh, recording vocals in a bathroom actually can sound better than not doing. So, here we go. Okay, one, two, one, two, one, two. Right, so this is our control room. You'll have seen this in plenty of the videos that we've done. And this room is a little bit lively, uh, a little bit bright. If I clap in this room, there's just a little bit of a reverb time before I drop off. It's not completely dead in here. If it was, it would actually be a little bit harder to mix in here. Uh, the main thing is a lot of the early reflections have been treated. Uh, some of the room modes have been dampened on the back wall, but the wall behind the camera is generally quite live and not very harshly dampened in any way because it doesn't need it. So, without further ado, let's uh, let's do this, Ron. Let's do this, Ron. Ruh, ruh, raggy. Let's let's do some vocals. Hey, where will you? This is our live room, or at least this is what I would describe as our main live room. It's quite a bit larger than the control room. It's, oh, I don't know, uh, 60 feet, I guess, by 18, roughly. That does include the vocal booth, which is actually floating inside 
the main live room, so it's not quite that big, but maybe 50 feet by 18, I, I guess. I'd have to get a tape measure out. We've got all the schematics and the blueprints, but it's not a small live room, that's for sure. And we made sure when we made it that it was fairly controlled. It's not dead in here, but it's not the most lively live room you'll ever hear. If it had been a much bigger live room with taller ceilings and that kind of thing, I would have been happier for it to be a more lively sounding room, but we needed some form of control so that we could have a much better separation in between instruments depending on what we were tracking. But we didn't want it to be too dead so it felt like you were recording inside an anechoic chamber. That's what the vocal booth's for and we'll talk about that soon. So, on with the vocals. Hey! Where will you come from? Hey! Where are you headed now? Wait! Last but not least, our PS still existence. This is our vocal booth. It's very, very dead sounding in here. If I clap, you can you can hear there's very little noise in here. In fact, the only things that really reverberated them when I clapped were things like the lights that I've brought in for filming this. Uh, generally speaking, this room is completely dead. And it's, yeah, it's that much of a difference that bringing in, say, a light panel, when that's what echoes in the rest of the room doesn't, that tells you a lot. Um, this room is a floating room inside another floating room, so this that's why the ceiling's not particularly high, because it's been brought down because every time you put a floating room inside another floating room, it gets smaller and smaller, which is not the best, but considering that it's so uh, acoustically dampened in here, shall we say, it was worth the trade-off. Um, so the, the walls for this vocal booth are made spaced with an air gap inside them. Then there's acoustic foam, then there are metal panels which have a certain hole size perforation which only lets certain frequencies through. Then there's even more acoustic foam mostly to stop any vibrations of the metal. And the ceiling and floor are both carpeted so you're not going to get much more deadened than that without some next level treatment. And the walls of the, the room that this is in are that next level treatment. They're all floating walls and floating floors. This is a floating floor as well, so it's completely acoustically decoupled. So for vocal recordings that you need to be dry, let's give it a go. Hey! Where will you come from? And here are those samples again, back to back in a kind of digestible format. So we're going to do all the uh, all the dry tracks back to back, then all the distant dry tracks, then all the mix tracks in a back to back format so you can hear that. <laughs> time in life we seek a new way in lies in truth the self is bound to time in life we seek a new way in 
lies in truth. The self is bound to stay. Hey, where will you come from? Hey, where are you headed now? Wait until the child comes forth and takes you. In time, in life, we seek a new way. In lies, in truth, the self is bound to stay. In time, in life, we seek a new way. In lies, in truth, the self is bound to stay. Hey! Where will you come from? Hey, where are you headed now? Wait until the child comes forth and takes you into the clouds. In time, in life, we seek a new way. In lies, in truth, the self is bound to stay. Hey! Where will you come from? Hey, where are you headed now? Wait until the child comes forth and takes you into the clouds. In time, in life, we seek a new way. In lies, in truth, the self is bound to stay. Until the child comes forth and takes you into the clouds. In time, in life, we seek a new way. 
in lies in truth the self is bound to stay hey where will you come from hey where are you headed now wait until the child comes In time, in life, we seek a new way. In lies, in truth, the self is bound to stay. time in life we seek a new way in lies in truth the self is bound to time in life we seek a new way in lies in truth the self is bound to stay hey where will you come from? Hey, where are you headed now? Wait until the child comes forth and takes you into the clouds. time in life we seek a new way in lies in truth the self is bound to stay hey where will you come from? Hey, where are you headed now? Wait until the child comes forth and takes you into the clouds. In time, in life, we seek a new way. 
in lies, in truth. The self is bound to stay. Hey, where will you come from? Hey, where are you headed now? Wait, until the child comes forth and takes you into the clouds. In time, in life, we seek a new way. In lies, in truth, the self is bound to stay. Hey, where will you come from? Hey, where are you headed now? Wait. Until the child comes forth and takes you into the clouds. In time, in life, we seek a new way. In lies, in truth, the self is bound to stay. Hey, where will you come from? Hey, where are you headed now? Wait! Until the child comes forth and takes you into the clouds. In time, in life, we seek a new way. In lies, in truth, the self is bound to stay. Hey, where will you come from? Hey, where are you headed now? Wait. Until the child comes forth and takes you into the clouds. In time, in life, we seek a new way. In lies, in truth, the self is bound to stay. Hey, where will you come from? Hey, where are you headed now? Wait. Until the child comes forth and takes you into the clouds. In time, in life, we seek a new way. In lies, in 
truth. The self is bound to stay. Hey, where will you come from? Hey, where are you headed now? Wait until the child comes forth and takes you into the clouds. In time, in life, we seek a new way. In lies, in truth, the self is bound to stay. Hey, where will you come from? Hey, where are you headed now? Wait. Until the child comes forth and takes you into the clouds. In time, in life, we seek a new way. In lies, in truth, the self is bound to stay. Hey, where will you come from? Hey, where are you headed now? Wait! Until the child comes forth and takes you into the clouds. In time, in life, we seek a new way. In lies, in truth, the self is bound to stay. Hey, where will you come from? Hey, where are you headed now? Where time in life we seek a new way in lies in truth the self is bound to time in life we seek a new way in lies in truth the 
yourself is bound to stay. Hey, where will you come from? Hey, where are you headed now? Wait until the child comes forth and takes you. time in life we seek a new way in lies in truth the self is bound to stay hey where will you come from? Hey, where are you headed now? Wait until the child comes forth and takes you into the clouds. In time in life we seek a new way in lies in truth the self is bound to stay hey where will you come from Until the child comes forth and takes you into the clouds. In time, in life, we seek a new Self is bound to stay. Hey, where will you come from? Hey, where are you headed now? Wait until the child.
although it probably made more of an audible difference than it did on the guitar video that we did, which I'll put the link to that at the end of this video. Uh, probably partly because uh, we are, you know, six inches away from a microphone is fairly standard. You wouldn't get much closer apart from if you're doing something quite unusual. Uh, whereas close mic in a guitar cabinet is much closer and I suppose that kind of isolates you from the room quite a bit more. And the compression really tends to make things jump out, which is why a lot of places, including my studio, have a vocal booth that's about as dry as you can possibly get, because quite often that's what you need, and I find that you can control the mix much more by doing that. So, it's kind of... There, these are the results that I expected, but now I have something fairly definitive to prove it with. So... I hope you can use this as ammunition in these kind of discussions in the future. And if you've got any more suggestions for anything else like this, uh, then feel free. I, I will be happy to try out new and interesting experiments. So thank you everybody for watching. We'll be back to the usual gear reviews and tutorials and that kind of thing next week. So uh, look out for that kind of stuff and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It's really appreciated. And there's a lot coming as always. So thank you everybody for watching. I'm Adam Steele for the Hot Pole Studios and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this, feel free to check out our other videos as you can find here or check out our Facebook and Twitter or our Patreon page, which helps us to make more videos like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.